it's so embarrassing. How are you today, Dr. Wilbur? I don't believe we've met. I'm Mary, Mary Lucinda Dorset. I'm named after our grandmother. Do you love poetry? Grandma did. Poetry eases pain. What pain, Mary? Oh, I can't tell you. Grandma's death is too recent. No, honey. She's been dead for 20 years. No, it's now. Past is present when you carry it with you. What? No, no, listen. No. What's going on? No. What? No. When are you going to listen to me? Listen to me. What's happening? What do you see? Don't hurt Mama. Don't hurt Mama. Baby's dead. Who are you? What's your name? Ruthie. Mama does things. To you, Ruthie? Little girls. What little girls? Mama puts fingers inside. She does what? Put fingers inside. Inside the little girls? Does she do that to you, Ruthie? Mama plays games. Mama hurts them. Mama makes them promise. Promise what? Don't tell. Don't tell. Don't tell. Does she hurt you too, Ruthie? No. No. Mama, please. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> Ruthie, the one who attacked you, she's only six years old. Her parents made love in front of her all the time. <laughs> yeah. Once a mother had a miscarriage and Ruthie blames it on the sex, her father buried the fetus by the back porch steps. Can you believe that? Hey, Vanessa, I really like your painting. Thank you, Marsha. Yours is lovely, too. Mm -hmm. uh, let me get this straight. This is yours, Marsha? This is mine, Doc. Oh, OK, so this is yours, Marsha. And this is yours, Vanessa. Quite right. Can one of you tell me more about Ruthie? Oh, her mother treated her badly. Treated her badly? <laughs> she heard other little girls, too, when she babysat. She saved the worst for her own. What did she do? She raped her with a button hook. Marsha, there's a concert tonight I'd love to attend. Would you care to come? Get out of here if Richard's taking you. You know I don't like him. Vanessa, where were you when Ruthie's mother did this to her? I was there. I watched. We all did. But you didn't feel anything. Why should we? We're all different people, Doc. I'm Marsha. And I'm Vanessa. And I'm Mary. And I'm Peggy. Ain't hey, sweet. <laughs> Vicky. We are not the same person. And none of us is severe. Sybil, honey, I I'm in a hurry, so walk with me. Oh. Now, who's Mike? You haven't met him yet. Well, it seems I haven't met you either. I'm Sid. Sid? Yeah. Oh, oh. Sid, like Sybil Isabel Dorset. Hey, I hadn't thought about that. Well. But I'm different than her. I'm a boy. I'm like my dad. He's a builder, I'm a builder too. Yes, but you're not exactly like your dad, Sid. Sure, I am. I got arms and legs and everything. Well, not everything. Well, I never got that, but when I'm older, it'll grow. No. Now, listen to me. A boy in a girl's body doesn't grow up to be a man. This isn't a girl's body. My mother was a girl, and she was dirty. I'm no girl. Yeah, but all girls aren't like your mother. But Sid. I told you, I'm like my dad. And Mike's like Grandpa. We could give girls babies if we want well, to. Not exactly. Yes, we can. What the hell do you know? You know, you're just trying to make me be like all the others, and I won't. We're all different. Can't you see that? We'll never be the same. Stable! Sin! Do you know who I am? Nobody. I'm 
I'm Mary. Mary Lucinda Dorset. Do you know poetry? But I understand you were afraid. I quite liked him. She doesn't know what she's talking about. You should listen to me, Marsha. But you don't want to listen to anybody. You don't want to hear anybody. So it's not the place, Sybil. Yeah, what do you know? You're just a girl. Girls don't know anything. Why don't you just stop hanging out with me? I'm such a good. Please, no more. Please, please. Yeah. <laughs>